puberty and experience the lawmaker likened to torture. Do you get it yet? Now here's Whoopi Goldberg invoking God and the Bible in order to excuse her depravity. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Help support this channel by checking out our link in the description below for the Daily Grace Company to find all the tools you need to take your Bible study to the next level. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. You know, it never ceases to amaze me the lengths people will go to justify their depravity. You know, Romans chapter 1 talks about depravity and how bad it will get, how bad the wrath of God will be on those who practice unrighteousness. And you get down here to verse 28 and check this out. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind. He gave them up to depravity to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossips, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil. That means our evil that we commit won't be evil enough at a certain point, and we will have to create new ways of committing evil acts against God. And we'll be disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. So these people that are depraved in mind will approve of others and try to convince and trick others into coming in, especially children, into coming into their sin and committing such debased, depraved acts. And that's where this story comes in. Whoopi Goldberg appeals to Bible while defending change operations for minors. Now, this was on the show, The View, and I have some clips of it right here, and I'm going to go over these clips, and I want you to pay close attention to what Goldberg says here. For one, it's completely insane and makes zero sense, but you're going to see her try to appeal to God, appeal to the Bible to justify her depravity, and I'm going to show you why. It's insane. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video, YouTube will push it out to more people and it would really help spread this message. But it says, during Thursday's episode of the ABC Daytime Talk Show, Goldberg and her co-host discussed how Montana Republicans this week censored Democratic lawmaker Rep. Zephyr. Republicans voted to bar Zephyr from debating SB 99, which prohibits doctors from being able to provide several surgeries for children who contend that their identity doesn't match their biology. The disciplinary action came after the Democratic lawmaker told his colleagues on April 18th that they would have blood on their hands. So Zephyr claimed on April 18th debate about the SB 99 that the bill would force a child who identifies as twins to go through puberty and experience the lawmaker likened to torture. Do you get it yet? They're at the point now where they're likening the natural order of things, the, the, the natural way the body goes into adulthood and all its intricacies there. They're arguing that that process is now torture. So they're trying to turn it into something to where if you don't allow this irreversible damage on someone who isn't even old enough to completely understand what's actually going on in anything in life, then you're torturing this person. And then she said, if you vote yes on this bill, I hope the next time you bow your heads in prayer, you see the blood on your hands. Now, this is where the clips of the, of the view, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, trying to stick up for Zephyr and what Zephyr said about children being tortured for going through puberty. <laughs> Of this country is we have to figure out how to live together i don't have to agree with everything you agree with you don't have to agree with everything i agree with that's why we have two parties and, that's why we have these conversations you, the only time you'll hear a liberal say we don't have to think alike that's why we have two separate parties she's literally trying to invoke the fact that we have freedom 
to not think like the machine demands us to think. But only when it comes down to trying to appeal to those who actually still believe in liberties and freedom to try to indoctrinate them into her own depravity. Other than that, you don't have a choice to think how you want to think. The left is notorious for deeming you unfit to live, unfit to exist. You shouldn't even be allowed to live privately and live quietly if you don't agree and think the exact same way that they do. But yet here she is invoking that argument against people who want to protect children from doing uh, unrepairable damage to their bodies before they're even old enough to understand what's actually happening. This is coming from the same person that said this. Let's be truthful about it because the Holocaust isn't about race. God made us smart enough to know when it wasn't going to work for us. That's the that's the beauty no. of giving us freedom of choice. No. Yes. Well, the specifics, but something into my skin that's going to make Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. no, excuse me. Now here's Whoopi Goldberg invoking God and the Bible in order to excuse her depravity. So I'm not involved. What is going So I can't my I can't decide what my kid reads. I can't decide Yeah. For my child, what my child says is going on. Yep. You're telling me your beliefs, your, and they keep saying it, and I keep saying, what Bible are you reading? Yeah. Because God was really clear. Very clear. God was really clear, and then stops. Literally stops. Does not continue talking. Why? Because she doesn't have an answer for what she just said. She's literally just trying to invoke the name of God and the character of God and the Bible to try to excuse and get you to fall for this depravity, this way of thinking. First, she appeals to the heart and to the mind to say, so you're going to tell me that I can't decide for my child that they feel this way and I can't decide to mutilate my child because... I feel like they should be. And then you're going to tell me that the Bible doesn't tell me that I can't do this to my child? Yes. All of those things. Yes. Genesis 127. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God is perfect and sovereign and in control. God does not make mistakes. Sin does. The depravity of the human mind does outside of God. And that's what we are doing today is we are creating an alternate reality, an alternate universe, and trying to replace truth with a lie that's coded with the new truth. And these people want to invoke God's name, which is one of the worst things you can do to try to use the name of God to justify your sickness, to justify your sin and your depravity instead of just calling it what it is. You hate God and you hate truth so much that you're willing to sacrifice your child to prove it. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and know your thoughts about this. What are some other times that celebrities have invoked God and the Bible to try to justify their depravity? Let me know in the comment section below. And hey, would you hit that subscribe button, be a part of this community? I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And hit that thumbs up button. You know when you like this video to get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread this message. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.